Oh, Monica, my darling. That's not this film. Oh, hey, welcome back to our stupid rags against the Corbin. I'm Devin Nam. And you can follow us at Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Squeeze them good. Yeah. The juice is what I'm talking about. Uh, thank you for us on Patreon. Follow the true count. Subscribe to that like button. And welcome to Classic Month. It's Classic Month again. <laughs> we are classics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and <laughs> we decided to start with the film that uh, I probably would have gotten to last year, but um, it's it's a big one that we've missed out on. Yeah, it's a uh, really big one. It's like a it's a mammoth of a of a of a classic that's like I think like. The, the the Indian restaurant I, I frequent a lot. Um, it's probably the best Indian food here in Los Angeles. For McDonald's. Me. Yes. Yeah. Um, like they have a bunch of pictures of actors on the walls and stuff, but they also have like films as well. Like it has like eight classics and guide guide is, is on, on there it with like obviously the uh, Cholets and sure and, and um, all is Pedosin up there? Yeah. Yeah. All Pedosin right. Is up there. Um, but so it's. It's up there, obviously, with the mammoths of the classic. I do believe this is also our first Dev Anand it film. It is. Uh, which, <laughs> four years without seeing Dev Anand. Is I this apologize. our first Wahida film, too? I think it is. I think it is. I could be wrong, but I think it's our first Wahida I, film. I think it is. Um, but, obviously, it came out in 1965. It's going to be a 100% spoiler review. I think most Indians have seen the film. <laughs> many, many times, probably. Yes. Um, but it's uh, the Dev Anand film directed by Vijay Anand. The brother uh, of, of Dev Anand. Anand. And written by him as well from a book produced by Devon on right um, and all that kind of stuff starring Devon on and Wahida Raymond Wahida Raymond and a billion thousand other people other people yeah um, but like I said it's be a hundred cents for the view if you haven't watched it go watch it come back I think all oh, of yeah. you probably have seen the film already <laughs> So I don't think we're spoiling anything uh, it's like if you were we reviewed like um um uh, the Wizard of the Oz. The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen it by now. Well. well. <laughs> Rick, your initial thoughts of Guide, please. My initial thoughts of Guide were, and we'll get into the details as usual, it started off in a way that I was accepting of it and thought, okay, I'll just let this be what it is. Mm -hmm. Then 40 minutes in, it just took flight mm -hmm. and became, I can see why everybody loves the film so much for so many reasons. I think the author didn't like the interpretation of the novel, really? the film. I read about that. Interesting. Okay. Having not read the novel, obviously, um, what a, sh what a shock to go into classic month and, and watch a classic that I really liked. Yeah. Did, did you watch it with Androni? No, but she's seen it. She obviously, I would assume she She's not it. only seen it countless times, but she told me that her dad had a huge crush on Wahida. On Wahida? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is this is one that uh, I, 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 I really enjoy this film, but also I could see why Indians really Ab like this. Oh, this absolutely. This very Indian, and especially for the time. And I agree. This film actually took about 50 minutes. Yeah. I think I looked at the time frame. Yep. Because it really started to get into the 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 love story the a uh, little bit it around literally, that time. It literally took off. It yeah. felt like we had a really long runway. Yeah. And then it f took off and flew to places that the first half gave no indication None. we were going. Yeah, it, it went... Uh, one, I was a little confused at the beginning because it went, like, real fast. I'm like, okay, why was he in, why was he in jail? Right. What What is that? It, he just became a priest? That's... What? That's what taking you're a novel and turning yeah. it into a 180-page script. He, yeah. he, be, he be, Oh, wait. Why is he not a priest anymore? Right. I'm, <laughs> it took me a second to realize like we jumped back yeah. in, in time. Because I, I don't think they made that particularly clear uh, fully in, the, in, in that first part. Yeah. Obviously, I figured it out as the film went along what was going on. But this went in so many different directions. But especially the end, I could see like why... Oh, my goodness. Indians really love this film. Like and I'm the, sure they had no problem with him wearing orange at the end. <laughs> no, I didn't I didn't see the same outrage. Not, and not at all. And wearing not at orange. All. I guess he wasn't dancing risque-ly. Absolutely. Um, she was, obviously. She was. We'll uh, get into that, too. But I thought this film, the grand scope, the grand scope of the songs. Yes. 
another reason why I think this film is so beloved. The, the, yeah. the score the s- and the s- this massiveness. Massive old Bollywood scale songs in it. And a lot of them. There was like a, probably a 20 minute stretch where there was probably like four songs. And it was weird because it went from feeling like Lawrence of Arabia, this really mellow, slow, historic drama. And it became the last American in Paris. It was yeah. this just MGM spectacle of musical numbers. Yeah. It, they, I wrote down the very first dance was amazing. She she got all sweaty and she was so expressive. And I immediately said to Andrani as I was watching it, I said, I can see why your dad had a crush on her. <laughs> that woman's absolutely sexy and beautiful. Yeah, let's talk about her. Like, yeah. like uh, her, her dancing was impeccable. Gorgeous. Uh, some of the best. Like, there, she had so many numbers where she was dancing and did so, so well. But I also, there was one scene towards the beginning with her husband. And it's in the cave. In the cave, the argument scene. The argument scene was a brilliant scene. A, it, Written, acted, uh, shot, cinematography wise, yep. lighting. Yep. Every I that's probably one of my favorite scenes in the whole film. That one, and then she has a scene that's carried by Devanon. Yeah. Not too far after that. Uh-huh. That I, I feel exactly the same way about. It and was, it, it's the I feel like the writing in this was way ahead of its time. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was funny, because I described this, I was like, this is a, one, I think, progressive for its time, but also oh. extremely of its time in others. Yes. <laughs> like, a hundred percent agree. Problematic in a, in some areas as well, but also progressive in other areas. Yes. <laughs> it was very strange. One moment, he's telling her she can be anything she wants, irrespective of caste, race, sex, religion, and then the next moment she said, are you going to correct me when I'm bad and slap me? Because that's what she expects in a right way. Yeah, I agree. It had both. It was ex- but I, it was her ex- acting, I agree. The, the dance numbers are magnificent, but I, I was really impressed with her capacity as an actress as well. Yes, I, I, I liked her a lot. I would love to see more of her work. Absolutely. Uh, she was a very captivating uh, I can't rave enough about the song numbers in this. this. And she's apparent. I, have you seen any photos of her recently? Mm-mm. She's still alive, and looking beautiful as ever. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. She is still around. Congrats on not dying. Yeah. Uh, how old was she in the film then? She was probably early twenties. Really? Okay. Yeah. And she's now obviously in her mid to late seventies. Yeah. Um, I thought she did a great job. It was <laughs> in the beginning. I, I like the first fifty minutes. There was so many things like. Obviously, you can't judge a film based off of today's standards in terms no. of not just artistically, but in terms of like um, uh, culture, right? Right. And you have to judge it off 1960s Indian culture, and like yeah. that's why some of the stuff like like he was like, "Oh, I could be pretty strict. I would definitely slap you for what you just what you just said." Or, right. And she was like, "Oh, I would happily cook and clean for you and take your corrections if you like." I was like, "There's so many stuff." <laughs> like, right. I was like, ah, but obviously, you can't judge. Hollywood has so many of those at the oh, time that goodness. like it's like what the what kind of there's civilization a, were we? There's at a the clip time? of a James Bond film where Sean Connery is talking to a guy and the Bond girl's next to him and he tells her to take off because the men are talking and slaps her <laughs> on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so like you can't judge wow. a film off of today's standards, yeah. and so you try not to do that. But it's also so funny, but because this film had so many of those moments, but it was also extremely progressive. Yeah, in the other ones, which Incredible. is incredible, which is, is super interesting. But uh, in the beginning. I also like during her first, not maybe it wasn't her first, I don't remember, but when she finally left him, uh, the husband. Marco. And Is that they, his name, right? Marco? They were leaving and she was all very childish. And, yeah. And all that. she was like being extremely mean, <laughs> taking people's water and stuff that they were using to get water for the family <laughs> and just breaking it. <laughs> like, I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. You're being an ass right now. <laughs> Stop doing that. Yeah. Um, and so, <laughs> like, this one went like a roller coaster, especially in the beginning, because I was trying to figure out what exactly I was like, what happened to him being a priest? Yeah, like it was. It were you the same way? Oh it yeah, it was not clear that we jumped back in time. No, to it me. wasn't. I actually, because I got lost, I jumped onto the internet and followed the plot line to where I was to make sure I was aware of what just happened, because I thought that 
this isn't what he's doing now. He just got out of jail. And it said, it's a flashback from that point. I went, okay. Okay, okay great. It took Good. me, and then once it got to about 50 minutes, I think the love story between them started going and really then, clear. Obviously, the song started getting even more grand and amazing, uh, even though I was interested before because I think that scene between the husband and the wife was in the cave. All that. Yeah. It was, and the production design of the cave, by the way, it was beautiful. I loved it. I thought Great it was, cobwebs. I thought it was like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Absolutely. Vibes. It was really good. Let's talk about Devin Nand as well before we get too much into the rest of the film. This is our first, but I could see why he was such a big star. Agree. He's, he's very small. You know, Andrani said this before I was watching this. She was so happy we were watching this. Mm -hmm. And at first, she asked me what I was thinking of it because I got about 30 minutes into it. She said, what do you think of it? I said, it's okay. And I could tell she was a little disappointed. <laughs> I wasn't liking it more. Yeah. She, I haven't talked to her since. Yeah. I've finished it. But... She told me, aside from uh, the, the crush her dad had on Wahida, she said, you're going to discover why Devanand was called the Gregory Peck of India. Um, is that what it was called? Yeah. Interesting. I absolutely not only see the physical resemblance, there were times where he strikingly resembles Gregory Peck, but his persona is very Gregory Peck. If, you ha if you've seen To Kill a Mockingbird or you've seen Moby Dick, those are two of his most famous films. He absolutely, any role Peck played, I would cast Devin on. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Uh, and he, I thought he was, for the time, obviously maybe not as small as like a Dillip in terms no, of but like that. But he, I think he's small. still really small for a time, not only in Hollywood, but obviously in India as well, where that was not the the kind of norm of, of actors. No. It was more. Still it was melodramatic. Melodramatic. Yeah. A little over the top. Um and, and it's almost like the the vaudevillian transformation still going on. Yeah, the fact that he was so small. Um, I I, I really enjoyed his performance and so their I. their kind of chemistry and the weaving of this story being extremely complex. Yeah, of it's not just like I thought it was like we're gonna have a standard love affair, but then like he right kind of almost turned into the old husband and being really like selfish and and greedy and they had like these marital maybe not marital obviously but these relationship problems. Mm -hmm. Um, it was not simple. No, not a simple story at all. And then, obviously, him going into the 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 last part of the film of him being the uh, I think they called him the Swami, right? Right, the Swami. The Swami which I did not know was a Hindu. That they word, were praying like for, an Indian for, word for the rain. Um, but the fact that he was faking it at the time, but right. then kind of was like, I, I got to embrace it. I got to. I this is what I've sown. And people are counting on me now. It's like even though I'm not this person, but I've, I have to do this now, right? Because people believe in me, right? And so it's a super interesting, uh, uh, the, the writing of the. And I'd be interested to read the book, obviously, and how more in depth they go. Yeah, into it. I wonder if a big theme in the book is about belief, because mm -hmm. that's a that is throughout this. She doesn't believe in herself. He believes in her. Because he believes in her, she begins to believe in herself. Then he stops believing in himself. Then people start believing in him. And then she starts believing in him. And he dies believing in himself. Mm -hmm. It's just belief is all over this thing. Yeah. And I like, like I said, the last part is why I think a lot of Indians really, really love this film is because of that whole beautiful. philosophical questions uh, about the films and, and especially obviously the part where you know the it was almost gandhi moments right mm -hmm. a, at the end of the film and, and really beautifully shot and hard and not common the those close-up shots of everyone crying mm -hmm. her crying him crying the people crying and i didn't see glycerin man i saw real tears coming out of those human beings yeah I could feel what they were feeling. I thought it was a great climax yeah. to the film. I also knew I was invested. The moment I knew the change had happened, because it happened subtly, which all great movies do that to you, mm -hmm. when he asked her to marry her mm -hmm. and she got as excited as she did, I got happy for them and I realized, oh, you got me. <laughs> I care about them. The, in the last sequence, um, I think it was probably in the last 30 minutes or so, and they started doing like the almost angel and devil. Yeah. I thought that was super interesting. Super interesting. And I liked it. And so far afield from where we came. Yeah. Like I was like, this is not 
the style of film, but I thought it worked, and I thought it, it did was, work. It was a really interesting to kind of see the goings on in his mind, yep. uh, and and what was happening. I thought it was super ballsy of them to do that, uh, very be, daring, because it wasn't would, uh, the style that the film already was. And there's nothing so could have not worked. There's really nothing. We compare the musical numbers sometimes to the MGM things because it's the only frame of reference we have culturally for us as Americans to say this is what it reminds me of. And it's always complimentary. But this film doesn't remind me of any other film. Oh, yeah. Indian or American. It's it's very much it has its moments. Like I said, it felt Lawrence of Arabia pace. And then the big musical number turned into Last Tango. But I'm only making that as a kind of standaway comparison to the scope. Mm -hmm. Very original. And I felt it was also very daring. Yeah, I I did. I could not have told you in the beginning that no. the, where the film ended. Never. I was like, yeah, they'll probably get together is what I probably would have guessed. Right. For the time, I was like, it's a big, it's a Bollywood film. So it's probably gonna be love. And then probably gonna... I would have never guessed he went to jail for fraud. I would have never guessed he only served two years. I would have, uh, there's so many things I could have, ne and I would have never predicted some of the shot. There was the one shot of her behind the statues. Yeah. And she must have been on some kind of a pulley. Yeah. I love that, that was, shot. It was a beautiful shot because they maintained, the statues were kind of changing their height. But their relationship to her hips never changed. So they made whatever she was being pulled on to match it so that she stick. It was an incredible shot. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, um, you know, like and they clearly couldn't. <laughs> they cl there's my one of my favorite moments is when they're sleeping out in the she's in the car. They've just taken her away because she saw her husband cheating. Yeah. And he and the guy are sleeping on the ground. And they say it's midnight, but it's clearly a day shoot. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was that was Anon, the director, saying, "Yeah, I know it's night, but we're not doing a night shoot. <laughs> we're just going to shoot this thing at dawn, and it'll be a little dimmer. Forget it." I don't know who the production design team was on this, but VJ and Anon and his team did a brilliant job. They did uh, not one. Like I said, the cave was just brilliant, but all the song. Massive. Yeah, but then massive. also like when they were in the house, like his mom's house, and the city they built. Yep, and because I love old Hollywood, not Bollywood, I'll be in this scenario, but old film practical sets. That and the rain they did on that when the rain came down, they did a, they put in a lot of work to make sure that that rain was dispensed evenly among everybody to look like a true downpour not just in one little spot. It mm -hmm. looked like rain was falling from the sky. Yeah, um, and so I. I got this out because I wanted to read about Guy because I'm sure Guy's in here. A oh, I lot. bet it is, yeah. Um, but I didn't. I wasn't able to the Bollywood book. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm sure there's a lot of interesting information about this film uh, in it. Uh, One drawback, you'll agree. Again, it felt like these songs. It was really important to know what they were saying. Yeah, we didn't. Unfortunately, I, I looked everywhere. I actually looked in if I had the film because I have a lot of classics. Yeah, up here, but I don't. Uh, I looked everywhere. The only place that had it was subs. And this is common with classics, especially. The songs were not subbed. And they needed to be. They needed to be. I know they did. When they when they agree to get married and they go into that love song, I heard Dill and PR yeah. all over the place. And I said, okay, I get it. They're singing about their love and their heart, but I wish I knew every word. Because it felt... So the dance numbers felt like the item dance songs, but there were some songs that were undoubtedly him pushing making, story forward. Him making promises. Yes, and they were pushing story forward. Yeah, I. that was, uh, uh, unfortunately, sometimes it just happens that way. Like, uh, I don't know why you would sub a film and be and like, not the, the songs song. don't need it, especially in Indian cinema yeah. when songs are crucial. I don't know, I don't get it. I, I just, I don't understand. It, it's, especially, I, so, there was a Bengali film and Johnny wanted to find on Z Channel. It's an older film. It's not subbed. She said, I get it. It's not a popular film. You're not going to sub everything in Guide? Yeah. It's super strange. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, those are our thoughts about Guide. Glad we finally got to it. Yeah, great uh, kickoff to Classic good Month, Classic man. Month. If uh, we're going to watch only uh, outside of new films that come out that we'll see in theaters. Do uh, you have anything coming out? No, I don't think he has anything okay. coming out. Uh, but most of these... 
uh, we're gonna do in all. We'll try to get to as many regions as we can. But if it's Hindi, I think 1985. I, I think I did last year in 1980, but I think I'm gonna make it 1985 because I still think. I mean, you could even make before 90 are are considered classic. You know me. Well. I've always felt if it's if it's a if it's beyond a quarter of a century, it qualifies. But I don't want to include 90s because I know, I know it will be Shah Rukh Khan. It will be Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, and uh, if we do Romance Month again in February, Shah Rukh Khan's going to be yeah, I know. <laughs> Our Shah Rukh Khan reactions. Um, but so for the most part, any region, try to make it pre-1985. I yeah. know if we get to Malayalam, it might not be because their classics are maybe a little later in pre-90s sure. time. But let us know down in the comments for, I know most of you watching this are Hindi audience, so let us know down below what the next Hindi classic we should watch is. And uh, you know what I'm looking forward to? Mm. I'm looking forward to not just regional classics that we haven't gotten a chance to see because that means so much to us, other regions other than Hindi. I'm also looking forward to classics from the Bengali industry that aren't from Sajidit Rai. Yeah. <laughs> That would be nice, right? Uh, those, those are the main ones we get. Now, I think last year we did uh, dis not Distant Thunder. That, that, That's Saji to Rai. We did a Bengali classic last year that wasn't Rai. It was the one about after the famine. I mean, after the partition. I forget what it was. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, let us know what the next classic we should watch is down below. <laughs>